to see if they can outrun Burke Burnett tomorrow afternoon in Fort Worth. After a close call at a trip to state last year, the Mustangs are loving to have another chance. Trip to Austin on the line, but uh, more importantly, Burke Burnett, we just got to play one game at a time like we have. Uh, all year, and especially the playoffs, we've uh, really come around. But Burke Burnett's our key focus. Then after that, if we're fortunate enough to win, then we look on to go to Austin. The football players finally came in. We had a, we didn't play very good when they came in, so everybody didn't expect us to go as far as we actually have. So we just strived off what people said we couldn't do, and that's what we're as good as we are right now. Sweetwater and Burt Burnett play their regional final contest tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock at the Rokers and Ryan's Auditorium in Fort Worth. And Emmanuel would cause some problems taking it inside, cuts the Mustangs lead in half, but hold on to your seat. Derek Franklin rocking the house. Big Red rocking the Bulldogs. Sweetwater wins this one by 10 points. The final 65 to 55. Sweetwater is headed to state. Uh, I can't say enough about all of them. It's been a great year, a great season. Now we're going to go to Austin and try to make it one more better. What a game. I mean, we've great. got more highlights of that. We've got more bites from the players. We've got a lot more highlights. And over the competition today, Big Red faced Burke Burnett. A team they knocked out by one point last season. A team looking for revenge. Today, Big Red fans holding their breath for this game, and it would be the Derek Franklin show. The junior put up 32 points on the night, said he was in a zone. I'd say so. Mustangs up by six. Perimeter passing, Jason Bluford contributing to the cause. Nails three of his 13 points. Sweetwater up by nine. Big Red, big defense. Robert Reed with the monster block. Mustangs led 32-25 at the half. Third quarter, Bulldogs would cut the lead to four, but in the fourth, Franklin big under the boards, down court to Scott Rhodes, back up by 10 points. Sweetwater unstoppable. Shedrick Williams drains the jumper. Mustangs drain the Bulldogs. They win it by 10. The final 65-55. to Sweetwater's headed to state. I feel like I was in the zone. I mean, if the ball, where the ball was going, I was going to get it. I'll be around the ball somewhere, wherever we go. So I try to do the best job I can to get my, my team in Austin. It feels great. I've been uh, going down to state tournament for about eight years now. I've been always dreaming about playing down there on the floor, and now we get a chance to do it. It's just, it's awesome. It feels great. You know, it takes a long time. You know, people think we're going to make it, but we finally made it, baby. There's nothing like it. Ever since I can last remember, fifth, sixth grade, I've been down there. I've always wanted to go. Seats are about this color, but there's a lot more there. Final, final scores for you. That puts him in the state tournament Thursday. It's been hard for a team that's sky high about a trip to state, but the Mustangs realize if they don't bring themselves back down, San Antonio Fox Tech could in a hurry. But at the same time, you know, we, we realize what we're playing for. You know, we're playing for you know, a state championship, and, you know, and, it's, and every time that comes up to mind, you know, we start getting back to business. The phones rang continually for two days. It's one of the hardest things, I think, right now that we face is staying focused on, on what we're supposed to do. The Mustangs and Buffaloes meet up at 7 o'clock Thursday in the state semis at the Irwin Center. For a regional championship Saturday afternoon to punch their ticket for Austin. Sweetwater was working out this afternoon, and they'll leave Wednesday morning for Austin. The Mustangs, though, will be the country cousins in the Class 4A semifinals. The other teams are from San Antonio, Houston, and Dallas. But Sweetwater is not intimidated. No, I think it's more exciting than intimidating. I mean, we can pick it up and play with the best of them. I mean, we've proved it so far. So, I mean, it just depends if we keep our act together or not. I'm excited because, like I was saying, they'll say, oh, just a little school, how'd they get here? Must have been lucky or something. Mate underestimate us so i think that that'll just give us an advantage to win it uh, i think we can um, i don't know if we're picked to i bet we're not but i think that we've got a, as good a chance as anybody nobody really thinks we're going to so they might not be ready for us but i think we could win it all just as easy as anybody else uh probably yeah i think we like i said if we keep it together and don't joke around and keep it to good in the locker room we we should do pretty good Mustangs will face San Antonio Fox Tech in the Class 4A semifinals Thursday night at 7 p.m. at the Irwin Center in Austin. And a